What is going on, everybody? What a last couple weeks it's been. Some craziness has happened to the truck. I just got it back yesterday, which was the 13th of July. On July 4th, we had just gotten home from our trip to Tennessee the night of the 3rd, or I'm sorry, Monday morning, July 3rd at 3 a.m. And then a big old storm came on the 4th of July in the afternoon and a huge limb fell out of, I don't know if you can see it, but this tree right here from way up top, I'll drop pictures of where it came from. Fell on the truck. I was walking out to my garage behind me to go get something to mess around with something inside and I saw just green all over the back of the truck. And just got picked up yesterday. They had to replace the tailgate. I'll show you pictures. The limb fell here and dented this whole section of the tailgate up. Ah! Oh no. There's a pretty good sized dent right in here. You can see the bed cover is off. It's down in there. They took the bed cover off. The bed cover has dents in it as well, which is still, still usable. And then they fixed several scratches and all that stuff. They did some stuff on the fender here and all that. But yeah, this, this is the culprit here, this huge tree. I don't know if you can see it from this angle, but it's from, it fell from way up in this area here and it just came crashing down. But, that's what I want to show you. So they had to replace the tailgate. And as you can see, there's a problem here, right? The bed liner is, uh, where is that? Right? Where is the bed liner for this part of the tailgate? Well, I got it home yesterday. While I was at the, the shop to pick it up, I just had a suspicion that the bed liner wasn't gonna be done correctly. I don't know why, but I tried to, tried to peel it up at the shop and was unsuccessful in trying to peel it up, which was good. I'll show you here. I was trying to pull it up here in this area here and I couldn't get, could not get the, liner to start peeling so I assumed it was done correctly well I got home and there was a fair amount of overspray here in the corner I was trying to pick it off well I started pulling on this corner and then all of a sudden it just started pulling up in sheets get this bag open and I'll show you all these uh, pieces right well, lo, lo and behold, I reached out to the gentleman that I was working with over at the Service King. Anyway, the gentleman's name is Ian. Anybody that lives in my part of the neck of the woods, it's the Service King on 59 in Kingwood. If you're dealing with anybody over there, try to work with Ian. He's been fantastic. The bed liner issue is not his fault. They use a third-party vendor, which I know the company that they've used. It's called... Uh, text and truck accessories on North Park. And if this is the work they're doing, guys, anybody that's getting a bed liner, if you're using them and you're local to me and you get it done with text and truck accessories, I highly recommend you check and make sure they did it right because you don't want your bed liner to be like this coming off, right? And look at this. Look at these chunks. And you can see the, you can see the, the, the shine on the back here from the paint. Like, just coming off in, in sheets. That's uh, not good, right? Well, anyway, I reached out to the gentleman over there named Ian, told him what was going on, sent him pictures, videos of me pulling this stuff with my hands. No tools, just hands. Look at all the paint stuck to it. 
And he said, we'll get, don't worry, we'll get it fixed. We'll get it taken care of. And I went further into this. So I pulled this cover off because the bed liner was shot in here. Well, look at this guys. This is the latch. There's my cable. I mean, I don't even know. I don't even know if you can depress this anymore. So they shot awful. They did an awful job. They're supposed to paint. They're supposed to cover this up first of all with. I mean, look at that. These holes are supposed to be covered up so that none of the overspray gets into the components and gunks up all of this. Even over here, they didn't get it so bad over here, but over here it's just coated. And yeah, let me, let's see, let's see here. So this is the original, is from my original tailgate. The tailgate's brand new. The hardware is existing and this is existing. So this was already rhino lined from the, from the dealership. And I tried to pull this stuff up and it's, <laughs> It's not coming up, but let me do this with one hand here. See if I can. Oh yeah. So look at this. I mean, unbelievable, right? So this, I've had to look this up. That should not be happening. Should not be happening. I mean. If they would have prepped this, so I looked it up, and this this should be sticking no problem on top of this, right? It's just simple prep. You clean the surface, prime it, and then you shoot. And it's on top of previously sprayed Rhino Line or X Line, whatever they use. It's a polyurethane based item. And look at this, guys. Absolutely awful. Uh. <laughs> Look at this shit. Unbelievable. Texan truck accessories is located in Kingwood. Y'all gotta get a y'all gotta get somebody that knows what they're doing over there to do these bed liners because this is ridiculous. I mean, luckily it was only my tailgate. But this stuff's supposed to be cured in 24 hours for normal wear and tear and use. Okay. That's per Rhino Liner's website on their manufacturing specs and usage after the liner's been applied. And it says it's 80% cured after the first 30 minutes, okay? And then after a full day, 24 hours of it being shot, you're ready to start sliding stuff in your truck, load it down, shovel, whatever. I have put truck, put rocks, sand, dirt in the bed of my truck, and I have shoveled it out. And you can kind of see, I mean, you can see this line here from just normal wear and tear. And this has not gotten a scratch, no nicks, no removing of it whatsoever. And I'm doing this with my fingers. Come on guys, this is unreal, unreal. But I'm gonna get this cleaned up. I gotta drop my truck back off on Tuesday to get them to fix it or what have you and we'll see how that goes but to give you guys look at this prep work i mean what the hell does this person even do here did they just grab their keys and just have some fun and scratch it up i mean unreal you shouldn't see any gloss here whatsoever this should all be gone the liner was to this line right here so this should be like a hazy white from them sanding it and look at this shine. I come on. I mean, seriously, you 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 do this for a living, right? This is one of the things you do, and you offer at your business. This is how you do it. So, I'm going to prep one of, just a small area and show it to the gentleman Ian at the dealership or at the at the shop and say, "Hey, this is what this stuff's supposed to look like. If they don't do it like this." and prep the area correctly find something plenty to find a shop to do this but 
let me go do that let me go grab some real quick i'll show you what i'm going to try to how to get the setup what i'm going to do to try to show them how to do their job right i guess and i'll drop you some of that here in just a second be back in a moment all right I just did a small test piece. This is what it should look like, right? It should be very clear. I mean, look at these. I used this sponge, which is about a, I think, an 80 or 60 grit sandpaper, which is recommended for use to get this area prepped and sur surface area prepped for proper adhesion of the liner. You should be able to see these scuffs like this, not like this this area should be so hazed over it's unbelievable unbelievable so i'm gonna do a little bit more of this just so they can see how to do their job correctly and uh we'll go from there i'm gonna pull the rest of this rhino liner off according to ian over there he says he's gonna order me a new latch or, or something I wasn't exactly sure what he meant. Some sort of new component. And uh, yeah, that should be uh, interesting. Oh, sorry. But that's what I got, guys. I'll drop the, I'll drop, I'll, I may have dropped them already, but if I haven't yet until this point, I'll drop photos of the tree, the limb, the damage and all that stuff, what it did. It wasn't terrible, right? I probably could have just gone on without it. The way I look at it is if it's an act of God and my ed deductible is only $500 and the damage is, I know is going to, the bed cover alone was over 1300 bucks, right? They're replacing my bed cover. So that in itself, I get a brand new bed cover and it's covered by insurance. I'll have to pay 500, but the total repairs was over six grand after the tailgate replacement with the bend and stuff like that. They... I got very lucky because there was some damage on on the roof of the truck. Looked like hail, but I think it was, we have like, this tree's a sweet gum tree. And when this limb fell, we have gumballs falling all the time. When the limb fell, I'm sure it dropped a bunch of debris and it put a bunch of little like divots in the roof. I didn't have them fixed that, it's very superficial. So they issued me a, um, almost like a beauty allowance for the vehicle and it covered our deductible. So we didn't have to pay anything out of pocket, which was perfect. Worked out really well. Just got lucky. However, situations like this are not supposed to increase your insurance. Whenever it's an act of God, there's like certain circumstances that maintain you from having higher rates. I gotta confirm that and get that in writing or something to see, just make sure it actually is the truth. Guys, that's what I got for you today. It's a quick update on the vehicle, given what just happened to us. I wasn't going to do this video. My wife said to show everybody, maybe make everybody aware. All of you that are following me so far, if you have damage under your vehicle and you have a bed liner and you watch my videos, this this could save you from having a uh, my issue, right? Hopefully none of you have to get your truck repaired or have something happen to it. But if you do, something to look for, right? The bed liner looked great. It looked fantastic. It was nice and shiny, really pretty. But just because something's pretty doesn't mean it's going to function right. Always check the work and make sure they do it correctly. Well, guys, I'm going to jump into this. I'll hopefully have an update for you soon. I'll drop you guys some information after we get the truck back. Fingers crossed. I'm not peeling this crap up again. <laughs> but if you're located in my area of town and... Based on my based on this prep work from Texan Truck Accessories on North Park Drive in Kingwood, Texas, I do not recommend them for anything on your truck. Hopefully they change up. Maybe they get a new person. Who who knows? But if till they provide uh, until they provide better quality of work, I wouldn't use them for any of your accessories or work. All right, guys. Just got the bed cover back on. I'll show you what the damage was to that. Not too terrible. Bed cover still works. But you can put a little indention there. Pretty good indention here. A couple solid indentions here. Overall, 
That cover's in good shape. This is the original one. One you saw me guy itself. You saw me install. Yeah, so it's like it's very superficial, but since it did have damage on it, insurance went ahead and replaced it. So I'm gonna get the new one in. I'm gonna just take this one off. Leave. I'm gonna take this one off and put the new one back on. I'm just gonna sell sell the old one. So at a discount. And it's pretty much brand new besides those little bitty marks. And if somebody's looking at it, they won't even be able to tell. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it was informative for you all to you know what to look for with the tailgate bed cover or bed liner stuff. If you have any questions, let me know. See you.